Hmm, I love the flavor of fresh limes in the summertime. So when I heard that L of Easy Living with L and Cindy of Create with Cindy and Sonia of Multifaceted Me decided to issue a summer collaboration called Sips, Eats, and Sweets, I knew I had to join in on the fun. I want to share with you one of my family's favorite summertime drinks, and it's called Brazilian Lemonade. It only requires a few simple ingredients that you can get at any store, and about five minutes of time. Now before we get into the recipe, I would like to thank you for visiting my channel, Home Sense with Nell. On my channel, we talk about home decor, product hauls, gardening, life hacks, and basically everything it takes to make your home your sanctuary. If that's your thing, please subscribe for more great content. And now on to our recipe. So here's the recipe. You're gonna need about four fresh limes. You'll need one cup of sugar. You'll need about four to six tablespoons of condensed milk. Make sure it's not evaporated milk. You'll need about six cups of water. And to prepare, you're gonna need a, a blender, a strainer, and a pitcher or a container to hold your delicious drink. So let's get started. So first, I'm going to tenderize my fruit a little bit by rolling it on the counter or the cutting board. And next, I'm going to cut off the ends and then quarter each lime. Make sure your limes have been well washed because the entire fruit is gonna go into the blender. And if you can, find the limes with the thinner skins because um, they have a great flavor for this drink. Next, you put all your lime quarters into your pitcher and you add your six cups of water. Afterwards, you're going to add about four tablespoons of condensed milk. My favorite brand to use for this recipe is Eagle Brand, but if you can't find Eagle Brand, I believe Nestle makes one called La Lachera, and that's also really good. And here I'm just showing you the difference between condensed and evaporated milk, in case you didn't know. Condensed milk has added sugar, and it's very thick. Now for our recipe, I actually added a little bit more than four, <laughs> but it's all to your taste. Next, I'm adding um, one cup of sugar. I have a quarter cup measuring cup, so I'm adding four. And finally, you're going to pulse it about five to seven times until you are able to extract some of that delicious lime juice from your limes. The 
The Vitamix blender is a little different than some blenders. There's a low and a high setting. So what I did is I turned it on low setting and I just pulsed it that way. So this is what it looks like after you've blended all your ingredients together. The aroma coming from this pitcher is absolutely fabulous. It smells so fresh and sweet yet tart at the same time. I think I forgot to mention that this recipe will make uh, about seven servings, seven nice sized servings of Brazilian lemonade. So you're gonna strain your mixture because you don't need the rind and the pulp in your um, pitcher or container. Now if I had a bigger strainer, this would be a little bit easier, but somehow that bigger strainer disappeared. So I'm using this little one. And if you have kids, you probably have things in your house that disappear too. Nobody knows where they went. So I did it in batches just because my strainer was beginning to overflow with all of the fruit. And I like to press the fruit down a little bit to extract as much of that delicious tartness that I can. Now after tasting, my cameraman, AKA my daughter, said it w wasn't quite sweet enough, so I added just a little bit more uh, evaporated, or I'm sorry, condensed milk. And it's totally up to you how much you wanna add. And you can actually make this um, an adult beverage by adding a couple shots of rum. Rum and lime taste really good together. So here we're just thoroughly mixing. And now it's time to pour it and enjoy. So just to show you different ways that you can serve this, I like mine with ice. So I always put some ice in my glass and my daughter liked hers fancy, so she dipped her rim in sugar after wetting it with a little bit of lime juice. And there you go, a delicious, refreshing Brazilian lemonade made with what we call limes, but I believe Portuguese, the word for lime and lemon is the same. So I think that's how we got the name. But I really hope you guys try this. I think you will really enjoy it. Doesn't take too long at all. Mm -hmm. That's really good. 